Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. We're on Scorpio, so hey Scorpio. Um, this reading really could be for anyone, anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Scorpio reading for whatever reason that they're guided here. All right, guys, this is going to be your um, first week of March reading. It's actually going to be for the first five days of March 2022, and I'm setting it up that way so that I could get the other weeks on track to be seven days. It's just the way the calendar falls, but we're going to call it the first week of March, okay? So let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone, for the highest good, what do we need to know? This reading could really resonate any day, week, month, year, any time you're guided. It doesn't really matter the dates. I keep track of them for my record keeping here so that I know when to do the next readings, but I also keep track of them. Um, I also put the dates on them for those of you that like to have the dates on them. Okay, so, but those of you that don't keep track of dates and are guided by titles, don't worry about the sign. Um, I'm like that. If I see a title, I don't care what sign it is, I'll go watch it because I feel like I've been guided to it, right? All right, so let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Scorpio, what do we need to know? What are the most important messages we need to know for the people who need them the most? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible for this reading for Scorpio, for anyone else who's guided to see the Scorpio reading whenever they're guided to see it. One more shuffle. Okay, guys, we're working with the uh, Tarot of the 78 Doors. It's a very flimsy deck, but it's a really cool deck. Very non-traditional. My favorite, probably non-traditional deck. I only like non-traditional decks, okay, because I'm an intuitive reader. And hopefully you guys appreciate that. If you want to buy the book reader, probably this isn't the channel for you guys. So I hope that you um, enjoy this. Most people enjoy this style. So I hope that you do as well. Um, let's get into it. I'm going to be clarifying with Everyday Witch, which is, as you guys know, one of my very favorite clarifying decks. All right. Tarot of the 78 Doors, a very cool deck. Let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about the Scorpio reading? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Scorpio reading. Guys, your monthlies are out there as well. I hope that you will enjoy them. They were bigger than these weeklies. Um, well, monthlies are always bigger than the weeklies. What else do we need to know here, guys? What do we need to know? Scorpio, we have you showing up here as this beautiful Queen of Cups. I do love this Queen of Cups in this deck. Um, we have the Nine of Wands reversed. We have the Lovers, and we have the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups, really? All right, this seems to be like it's going to be a love reading for you guys, for most of you, anyway. You can apply it to business or something else if it, if it applies differently. Oops, that's way too many. Uh, one more, couple, two more cards, please. What do we need to know here? Two more cards. Scorpio reading. There we go. Six of Swords reversed, and this is a way, oh my gosh, nice, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, look at the big cards you got. Well, first of all, you got your card, the Queen of Cups, unless you're dealing with another water sign. We got the Nine of Wands, and see how this person's got a big oppressive load on their back? We're dropping that. In this deck, the Nine of Cups is kind of like the, I mean, I'm sorry, the Nine of Wands is like the Ten of Wands in other decks. Uh, we've got this beautiful lover's card and look at how the, um, I guess she looks like a gypsy, but I would say she's like, um, what do they say? Um, she's like a matchmaker. Okay. She's, or she's reading this man's palm in his love life. Okay. So we also have here the six of cups, which shows, um, you know, what could be a mother reading to these kids. And also I'm getting that some of you, somebody here might be a teacher, um, um, we have the six of swords here reversed, uh, in this deck, this person's like, um, doing something on a computer or communicating through the internet or hacking somebody's computer. I don't know. It's reversed. Uh, we also have the 10 of pentacles here. Um, I have to say it looks good when I see lovers in the upright, six of cups in the upright, 10 of cups up in the, in the upright. I mean, I'm sorry, 10 of pentacles and the queen of cups in the upright. This looks like a beautiful, happy family. Um, and it does look like uh, somebody's been stuck. I don't know if you've had like a, a communication si situation 
where you've had like this um, block in communications or if you've just been carrying a lot, you could be working a lot. You could, when I see six of swords reverse and the, what looks like the 10 of wands, but it's actually the nine of wands in this deck. This is like someone who's working too hard, um, no matter how I slice it, but we're getting ready to dump this. So that's good. So I don't know if you're working too hard at home or if you're working too hard at work. Let's get a little peek here. I love, you guys got this and so did Cancer. This was Cancer's bottom card, you know, right at the bottom of their deck. The Chariot. So you've got the Chariot. So you could actually, because Queen of Cups usually for me is Cancer, but it could very well be Scorpio. So we've got this um, other water sign energy coming through in your reading, but this could just be here saying Scorpio is winning, moving forward, doing something. We have the full reversed here. So you could have been grounded or stuck, right? And now you're moving forward with the chariot. So something could have had you kind of overburdened, right? And here we have the temperance in the reverse. And see how she's filling both cups here. And one might be slightly higher than the other. She's trying to get a balance here. So there's something going on where you've been trying to get, I feel like you're trying to get a good healthy balance between work and home. Um, and this could be you, or like I said, there's just, um, cancer comes through. So does Sagittarius. So does Gemini. Um, they're the three signs coming through in your reading. Oh, and Aries. So Aries, cancer, Gemini, and Sagittarius are coming through in your reading. So if this isn't you, it's someone around you, a family member, most likely from the looks of this reading. All right. So we're, we've got the, uh, everyday, witch. we're going to clarify, uh, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Scorpio, anyone with Scorpio placements. Now, Sagittarius could be coming through because you're a Scorpio Sagittarius um, cusper, possibly. And that might be why the temperance came through and saying, hey, you, get, you need to get it like balanced here between your home and your family. And this doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. Remember that. Okay, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? So many kids coming through it in this particular reading, but it doesn't mean you have to have kids, but it does show family. The Queen of Cups is talking to a child. The Ten of Pentacles shows children up in the playhouse, the treehouse. And the uh, Six of Cups shows the mother or the teacher reading to the kids. Just wanted to mention that. Lots of kids coming through. Um, even the Ten of Wands has a mother and child standing there watching somebody carrying a, an oppressive uh, burden. But um, you don't have to have kids. I'm just pointing that out, that this feels very family or love related, uh, this reading. All right, let's get it. But there, there is a healthy balance between work and home going on here. And that could be for anyone. You don't have to have kids to need a healthy balance between your home and family. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? For Scorpio, what do we need to know here? What are the most important messages we need for the people who need them the most? What do we need to know? And this is for anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Scorpio reading. It's really for any date, any time, day, week, month, year, whenever anyone is guided. Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. One shuffle and we're going to be done here. Oh, doesn't even want to shuffle. Okay. Well, let's talk about that Nine of Wands reversed, which like I said, is more like the Ten of Wands reversed in this deck somebody getting ready to dump the burdens well absolutely i decide i'm moving forward whether it's you or a cancer cancer keeps coming through in your reading with the chariot but this also could be like you deciding to bust free of a situation or bust forward in something you could have been overwhelmed with something and you're like i'm just not doing it anymore and you like throw it on the ground and this could be a metaphorical throwing it on the ground like i'm done with this and when you do you win chariot is a card look at the congratulatory you win you graduate you whatever it is this is i move forward i win i dump the burdens i win whether it's you whether it's a cancer all right tell me about um let's talk about the lovers here what do we need to know about the lovers card here for scorpio what's important lovers 
my God, absolutely. So we have the Page of Wands reverse, but we have the Nine of Cups in the upright wish fulfillment. So um, I feel, let me find out why the Page of Wands is reversed. Why is the Page of Wands reversed here? With the lovers in the upright and the Nine of Cups. King of Cups. All right, so it's up to you. You're going to have to say something. So if you haven't said something about someone and how you feel about them, Spirit says when you do, you'll be happy you did. All right, so excellent. That's really nice, actually. Um, and this could be vice versa, absolutely. Um, so some, but some of you could be, um, because see, for me, Scorpio is King of Cups. All right, that's my Scorpio uh, card. So, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female. None of this matters. What I'm saying here about the genders don't matter. Um, it's just that for me, Queen of Cups is usually Cancer, which keeps coming out in your reading. And King of Cups is usually Scorpio. But it doesn't mean he has to be a masculine, okay? Um, so this very well could just be Queen of Cups again, right? But um, it's just telling me this Queen of Cups is a Scorpio. All right, so... Um, Something, somebody has to say something in order to have the lovers come together. This could be you or them. Doesn't matter which one, male or female, doesn't matter. Somebody needing to say something. And when they do, it's wish fulfillment. It's nine of cups. Or they're going to say something about what they wish to come together here. Lovers, nine of cups. This is somebody's hopes and wishes, right? I want this to come together. It doesn't mean it's going to, but it does mean that that's somebody's wish or somebody's hope. Um, and I feel like, as always, we have to move forward to get these kind of things to happen. They don't come knock on your door. And I've told, told people this so many times, like tarot can show us we'd like to have this love. We'd like to say something or maybe we're not saying something. And Spirit says, if you say something, you could have wish fulfillment. And we actually need to make decisions to move forward and get out from under whatever's held us back and move forward, go in and say something, right? Or... Um, vice versa, right? Whatever, whoever's going to be the one to say something. Um, this is all, you know, at your disposal, but it doesn't mean somebody's going to just not come up to your door and knock on it while you're, you know, not doing anything about it. You're going to have to put yourself out there, you know, get dressed up, go out and have a nice day with your friends or go places in public and meet people. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to, you know, shave your legs Guys, you're going to have to, you know, put on your cologne, uh, whatever it takes to really go out there and put yourself out there if you want this wish fulfillment to come in. And if there's somebody specific you like, I mean, for some of you, you're already in a relationship. Um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there to this person because this looks really good. I mean, we're talking six of cups, lovers, ten of pentacles, and queen and king of cups. We got a divine partnership here. All positive. The chariot twice. The nine of cups. I mean, really, this is beautiful. Tell me about the six of chalices here. What do we need to know? This is a card of, in this particular deck, there's, like I said, it could be a card of children and family, but it could be a card of soulmates. Um, it could be a card of love. The page of pentacles just flew out in reverse. Is this about children for you? Or is this about a friendship? Or is this somebody you've known since childhood tell me about the six of chalices what do we need to know because that came out i wasn't even asking tell me about the six of chalices here what do we need to know the six of cups what's important that's too many just one or two six of chalices just one or two okay communication so we've got the eight of wands here or communication or far forward movement towards something remember we have something that's like no communication happening but now we've got this eight of wands it's are you trying to move towards someone that you know from the past that um, is like family or is this about family because when i see ten of cups reverse and page of pentacles reverse are you going to get communication from your kids have you not been speaking to them and now you're going to talk to them are you the kid, right? Are you going to communicate with someone from your childhood? Tell me about, um, this is like, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it almost feels like somebody who's going to communicate with somebody who they haven't seen since, you know, they were younger. 
Tell me about the Six of Swords reversed here because this is like that lack of communication. Tell me about the Six of Swords in the reverse here, Scorpio. Whoa, whoa, get back here. The whole pile fell, guys. Hold on one sec. Okay. Tell me about Six of Swords reversed, uh, Scorpio reading for anyone who's guided. Why is Six of Swords in the reverse here? All right, yeah. All right, so we have the Four of Wands reversed. We have the Three of Pentacles in the upright, and we have the Ace of Swords. I feel like somebody you haven't been talking to, you're going to talk to. And this could be like people. It doesn't have to be like one person. It could be several people. Um, why is Three of Pentacles here? Or it's somebody's going to communicate that they want to come together with you or you them. Tell me about the um, Three of Pentacles. Why is it here with the Ace of Swords? Three of Pentacles. Scorpio reading. Why is the three that's way too many why is the three of pentacles involved this could be somebody you used to work with i feel why is three of pentacles here or this could be somebody you currently work with you just haven't communicated that's way too many i only need one or two for the three of pentacles it's here with the six of swords reversed and the ace of swords it's like we go from not speaking to now communicating or getting some kind of clarity about it are you getting clarity about work oh I see what's going on. So you're getting some kind of clarity about a work situation. This work situation, you're not in it anymore, though. Tell me about the, I just want to know about the Six of Swords reversed and the Four of Wands reversed. What is this about? Six of Swords reversed with the Four of Wands reversed. Magician reversed. Was somebody was this a group of people at work? Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles with the Magician reversed. Scorpio reading. Yeah, work reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed again. So something's going on here. Like, you can't work for some reason. Why can't you work? There's something about, like, no work being put into something. No work's being put in. But what is the clarity you're getting? Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. This could be a job that you lost or left or were fired from or were laid off from or you quit. I don't know. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What is this? It's like a vigilant, victorious new beginning Emperor, something about your boss, or you are the boss. Tell me about the Ace of Swords Emperor, Scorpio reading. Why is Ace of Swords Emperor here? Has to do with a work situation or something about not putting, that's way too many, just one or two. Ace of Swords Emperor, what do we need to know about it? There we go. Seven of Wands. Somebody here felt under attack or feels under attack here with the seven of wands. And look how they're all coming at one person. There's going to be some kind of truth and clarity that come in about what actually happened here. What are these people? What are three of pentacles magician reverse? The devil. All right. So I will tell you right now. So somebody was trying to control this situation, uh, no doubt about it, but the truth is coming out. They were trying to control it. It could have been this emperor person, the boss, or it could have been an Aries. They were trying to control this information so that someone became the person that they all ganged up on, like a scapegoat. Could have been you, could have been a cancer, could have been anyone. Um, let's look at the Queen of Cups. What do we need to know about the Queen of Chalices? Look in this deck. She is really beautiful and she's very um, kind to children, it looks like. Tell me about the Queen of Chalices. What do we need to know about the Queen of Chalices? This is most likely you, Scorpio. Tell me about, unless you're a masculine, this could possibly be the Cancer. Tell me about the Queen of Chalices. What do we need to know about why the Queen of Chalices is here? Okay, 
Well, we have... Oh, wow, that's way too many. I'm sorry, I've got to put them all back. There's just too many that pound... I didn't know. One came out separate from the rest of the group, but let's see what comes out. Tell me about the Queen of Chalices. We're only going to be taking one or two. I can't take like four or five. Okay, there we go. Wow, the star. Beautiful. So this person is either you or this is somebody you really like you. You care about this person. If this is a feminine that's not you. Wow, I mean, tell me about Queen of Chalices and the star. I feel like this, if this is you, you are looking so amazing. Tell me about Queen of Chalices and the star. What is it we need to know? Scorpio reading. Just one or two. Scorpio reading the Queen of Chalices and the star. Whoa. Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. All right. So, well, I don't know. I would say this. If you're feminine, this is your energy. Look at how amazing you look. You look like Queen. You look like the Queen of Wands, the beauty queen. You're sweet and kind and nice like the Queen of Cups. And you're a star. I mean, this is really amazing energy. If you're a masculine you there's somebody around you that you are freaking crazy about no doubt about it all right tell me about the um ten of pentacles what about the ten of pentacles scorpio reading why is ten of pentacles here well, 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 the hermit reversed. All right. So we, um, you know what you want. Like it, it's, um, if you've had time to think about it or remember, this is all I wish that I could have the love of my life, right? I wish that I could have the king of pentacles, my divine match, or you are the king of pentacles and you are wishing for the queen of, uh, queen of cups. She could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Cancer, or a um, Aquarius. Uh, but you guys are both mirroring each other and wishing for each other. Um, tell me about the, <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. I want one more on this Ten of Pentacles. And it's here with the Hermit Reverse. It's like you're enlightened. You know this Ten of Pentacles is what you want in your life. Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, they're all here. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles here. What do we need to know? Yep, Five of Pentacles reverse. Somebody wants to come out of the cold with whatever they consider their Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about, now this could be financial, but it doesn't feel like it. The whole reading was all about soulmates and love and trying to come together with somebody who's very important to you maybe someone from your past tell me about the or it's a soulmate nonetheless and you two are mirroring each other you mirror each other's energies you're coming out as king and queen of cups and you both have a desire to be with each other this wish fulfillment the star and the nine of cups tell me about the ten of pentacles anything at all whoa the wheel of fortune came out on its side as a challenge so this would be getting to this sense of, you know, 10 is fulfillment and these are both 10s, right? So getting to the 10 has not been easy. It's been difficult. I wonder why. Why has 10 of Pentacles been held up, Wheel of Fortune? It's about to come in. The Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. Why um, Wheel of Fortune as a challenge? Why getting this to progress? Why has it been so difficult? I will tell you the Ten of Wands reverse just tried to pop out, but it went right back in. Somebody's been ha carrying these heavy burdens. This, whoever this one is, the Cancer, has been carrying oppressive burdens. And that's why this has been unable to come together for whatever reason. Now, it could be the opposite, right? It could be the opposite. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune here. Why is it a challenge to get to for the Ten of Pentacles to bring this together? Scorpio reading. Okay, the new beginning has been on hold. So the, the Ace of Wands has been on hold. It's not like you're not getting it. You're getting it. What is the Ace of Wands? Tell us about it. 
the wheel of fortune the, the um, world almost came out in reverse as well the wheel of fortune here the sun okay yes yeah, so something this new day is dawning this is coming right but it's not quite yet so when i see a wheel of fortune needing to come in and it's just there it's it's almost there it's just been hard to get to we have to complete ten of pentacles we have to complete ten of cups ten of wands we have to come to a sense of fulfillment sometimes we have to dump some burdens sometimes we have things going on that have to be done before we could get to the new beginning the ace of wands and that's where you stand so spirit is saying just try to illuminate or figure out what it is you got to do to get to the ace of wands they want you to see it I don't know what it is, but it's going to bring in the Ace of Wands and it's going to allow the, you know, this is all a new cycle trying to come in for you and with the sun, especially all new cycle trying to come in with you. The sun is coming out to say, think about what it is that's been holding up your cycle and then do it. It's 10 of Pentacles. It's 10 of Cups. It's fulfillment of some area of your life. But we got to figure out where it is. It, whatever it is comes with the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. In order to get to the ten of cups, you got to figure out what it is. What is it? There's like this last step. This page in reverse has something to do with it. Um, it has to do with maybe your kids or your family or your... Now, if you don't have kids, don't spout out, I don't have kids. Uh, that's fine. It could have to do with a relationship. It could have to do with your soulmate it, it's something about do you have to communicate with them do you have to move forward in some way you're both mirroring each other here and somebody here has been dealing with something where they felt very much under attack somebody could have had a third party this could be a work situation where somebody was overburdened at work and became some kind of a scapegoat which is what piled all the burdens on them and it's made it very hard for them so here's what i see i see a couple who's trying to come together or is supposed to come together. They're divine partners. They're showing up as divine partners. But one of them has been under some kind of burden at work. Um, and it's made it really hard for them to go into this new cycle, which would be amazing. It's, you know, it's Ten of Pentacles. It's Ace of Wands. It's, it's the sun. It's a beautiful new cycle. And it's wish fulfillment for both people. Right, but it's been difficult to move into because someone has this burden on them and it has something to do with, I feel work for most of you or a group or a third party person or something. I hope you guys will tell me what this is, um, but this reading was way longer than it was supposed to be, a little short five day reading. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into finding out what we need to know about this Scorpio. What do we need to know, angels, about the Scorpio reading for anyone who's going to be guided to see it? So, Scorpio, I definitely feel like you're dealing with a cancer. I think the Sagittarius energy is yours. You could also be dealing with an Aries, maybe a boss or something. And this might not even be your boss. It might be your partner's boss. I'm not sure. Beauty, freedom, nice, and play. Wow, what great cards. This is breaking free from whatever this controlling thing was. Someone absolutely, I mean, I want you to see how controlling whichever one of you, you or your partner is going through this. Look how controlling this is. The emperor, the devil, and the magician reversed. Oh my God, we're talking so controlling. Sweet freedom is at play here. I think, I swear, whoever's coming through cancer, okay, this could be you or this, if you're dealing with somebody with a strong cancer placement, it's them. So it's you or your partner. Somebody here is busting free of all the ties that have bound them. Sweet freedom. There's going to be extreme beauty in all this and you guys are going to have so much fun. Um, this really feels like a couple reading to me. This is going to be for you and your partner. This is going to be for you and someone you care about. Okay. I hope this makes sense. Um, guys, please do reach out. And if you don't know this person yet, the freedom you get from all this, say this chariot's all your energy or even theirs, the freedom, whichever one of you gets from all this 
is what brings the two of you together. So if you don't know yet that this is your person, this is your person. Wish fulfillment on both ends for the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And this person could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius because they're coming through as Queen of Cups and Queen of Wands. Either that or they're just really, really beautiful. At least you see them as beautiful. They could also have Aquarius. Now this could all be your energy and this is your person who could also have uh Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Cancer, um, or um, Sagittarius or Gemini. Okay, I hope this makes sense, whichever way it works. Anyway, guys, have a great week. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like. It helps the channel so much more than you guys realize to take that second to hit that like and comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.